Hey, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. I'm gonna go over the equipment racks today, uh, mainly the front and back wiring and our secondary rack. The third rack is not complete and we'll do it in two stages. I'll do one with the uh, racks pulled out and then I'll do a second um, with the uh, racks pushed into their openings and get a good idea of how they're gonna look when the finished product. Um, this is the back door to the uh, equipment room slash sim car racing room and uh, So here we have our equipment rack. We have uh, three total in this area. First one being the audio control equipment rack, but it has a few more items in here. So top, upper top is a Furman PL8C, which has lights on it. Second piece is our NAD658 uh, uh, DAC player, also for blue sound. And we're using a Kimber cable out of that balanced and uh, into the CD input on the audio control. Then you have our audio control X7, you can see all the Kimber cable there. That's all PBJ, custom built with Switchcraft connectors. And then as I go down, second amp, uh, well first, second amp are RS1000 subwoofer amps. Those drive the 18 inch clip subs, uh, 1000 watts each. And then as we go down, we have uh, four Avalon G4s. The first one is running our left and center at 600 watts bridged. The second one down runs our right speaker at 600 watt bridge, our left and right surround. The third amp down is running our front wides and our side speakers. And the final amp is running the Atmos speakers, front heights and rear heights. And on the bottom, we have the Furman uh, Reference IT20. And you'll note we have uh, all custom built power cords. So those run to 20 amp dedicated circuit for that. There's another 20 amp dedicated circuit, an additional 20 amp dedicated circuit. All the speaker wire is structured cable product 12-2. And then you'll see we have some data and control wire. All of our connectors off the back of the amplifiers are Kimber Cable S-Band, which are soldered and then heat shrink. And then we have watt gate power cords for each amplifier channel. With a little bit higher end power cord for the X7 and then our NAD has a basic power cord for now just using a custom link Kimber uh, excuse me custom link uh, mid-atlantic cable and then as you can see we don't have any of our HDMI cable plugged in that we'll put in once we slide the rack in and a couple other notes here the Furman is actually ran with a 10-2 cable and everything else are 12 2 cables everything's grounded and the only thing left to put in here are going to be our trigger wires and then I'll sneak over to the other rack here just as a quick shot it's not wired up yet but we have our RTI processor we have our NED blue sound and then for source gears for the theater Sony ES player TiVo edge and then the shelf there will have Apple TV or a fire TV and the rest is house audio amplifiers. And then the rack off there in the distance is our network rack, our server rack. We'll have a Clyde Escape Strato in there. And then you can kind of see back from behind, you can see we have our low voltage lighting power supplies. And that will finish this part of it. You can see the equipment room. That's the center rack that's pulled out. So you can see we have plenty of room. There's a slot for all three equipment racks. Theater racks installed and basically leveled. And we can easily walk in and fully get to our back of our equipment rack for service. But generally it'll be set. There's no reason for us to adjust it. The racks that will be adjusted, and since it is a demo room, will be the center rack where we'll probably swap out source gear and then more of our IT network rack, which we'll use to uh, do testing and things of that sort. And that rack's accessible actually through a door in the shop, so no problem there. And last, I'll slide this other rack in and do a final overview of the equipment area. And then we'll have a final video of this when it's all 100% done and painted. You can see there's switch covers off and the barn doors off, the theater doors not even on, so on and so on. 
Okay, so this is all three racks installed. And as you can see, it's a pretty good fit. We still have paint touch up and some leveling. And the center one again pulls out. Panel on the upper left is running some of the star ceiling and the Lutron. The white panel on the lower left runs all of our Epic Sky lighting controllers. And again, we're gonna start wiring those up today. And then as you can see, we have a Furman PL light on each one. That's Those are usually just for lighting. We have some function for a few of them. The theater is mostly running off the Furman. All the audio control is. The Panamax 20 amp is running most of the amps. And then we have another Panamax 20 amp and a trip light surge running some of the server equipment. We'll zoom out and try to get a light on it. So you can kind of see how it looks lighted up. Turn our light off and see if it looks any better. Test GoPros, complete dark lighting. So I'll go over the equipment rack for the theater, which is the main reason for this video. So we have our theater design company logo panel. It's a 37U equipment rack. And from top to bottom, Furman PL8 Plus. Again, we're mainly using that for the lights. We have the NAD658, which is our DAC player. Uh, using that for blue sound for music in the theater. We could also run some line in sources for that, um, CD player, uh, turntable, anything else we want. And then we have the Audio Control X7, followed up by two RS1000 subwoofer amps, the four Avalon G4s. Down here at the bottom, we have the reference IT20. And then a couple things to note on the bottom of each rack, we have the Mid Atlantic handles. Most of the plates are brushed. Most of the vents are brushed aluminum. And then I know there's a lot of people on the forums that ask, but we have custom made face plates for some of our equipment that doesn't come rack mount. So those are called A faces for Mid Atlantic. And then I'll do the second rack. Again, another Furman. This one is the DMC, so it's got voltage. So we can just kind of do a test of our voltage on the rack. We have an RTI XP8V. We have two RTI 84Xs that we're only using for preamps. And yes, the face plates will get changed out to match. Then we have the uh, NAD Blue Zone, uh, Blue OS 4 Zone media player. This is similar to Sonos or MusicCast. We're trying this out. The old system had four MusicCast players, so we'll see what we end up doing there. We have the Sony ES Blu-ray player the TiVo Edge. Below the TiVo Edge, that panel actually removes and will hold an Apple TV 4K or a Amazon Fire, we're not sure yet. Then we have some Vanguard slash Da Vinci products, two subwoofer amps, one for the house audio, one for outdoor audio. Then we have an eight channel amp for inside, 12 channel amp for inside and outside, and then a two by 125 running some additional outdoor speakers. And then we have a Panamax 20 amp Blue Bolt device. We have a drawer, and again we have the shelves. And then the third rack, another Furman. We have that Lona video switcher. That's gonna run a bright sign for our bar. It'll also send our camera signal out to various TVs in the house. That opening there is gonna be for probably a Kaleidoscape, maybe as a BD uh, player. Arachnus switches. And most of those are going to be running fiber into them and then standard uh, gigabit network out. We have room for additional storage servers, a camera system, and then another Blue Bolt device, trip light uh, power surge protector, battery backup, 
two more drawers and then again the handles again we're not painted yet and then if i peek in there those are the power supplies for the low voltage lighting uh, lutron and a few other devices for various items and then coming back here i don't know if i open this one up this one runs the uh, epic sky technologies commander and epic links for the star ceilings and then we've got our RTI PCM4. We have a Lutron Radio Raw main repeater and bridge. And again, the nice thing about that is they're uh, all tucked away in there. And when they're turned on, they light up pretty cool at night through the plexiglass. And then we have all of our controllers here, which I think I already went through this. But uh, these will be wired up this afternoon and we'll start working on the lighting control video. As you can see, we channel that in make it look pretty nice and then that should conclude the video for now we'll go over and uh, probably gonna start working on the video for the lighting control and a few other things this afternoon thank you have a great day